you think of Jack Tatum, you think of Ohio State football. Uh, I was in high school when he was playing here at Ohio State. Uh, so the two guys that I guess I marveled at all the time were Jack Tatum and Rex Kern. Everyone had to love Jack Tatum, the way he played. Uh, he gave us the brand of Ohio State defense uh, that we've enjoyed for many, many years to follow. Woody told us that when we came to Ohio State, we made lifetime friends out of our teammates. And Jack was just one of those super people, an incredible athlete who had the uh, most outstanding ability to explode into an uh, offensive guy. I remember when we were playing in the Rose Bowl, he caught OJ uh, at the goal line and stopped him, preventing him from uh, going in for the score. And Tate's one of those great people, and uh, we miss him greatly. Well, I think anybody that's come through here has got a good idea of who Jack Tatum is. Obviously, we've, we've got a, a big hit of the week named after him. We've got a sign hanging up, and I think every year he had come back for the Michigan game, and he gave a little talk uh, there at Senior Tackle. And so he, he's, his history, his legacy is, is well known throughout the players um, from the time I was here, uh, and it'll be long past that. You know, every time uh, Jack uh, uh, spoke to the team, he had a presence about him, and uh, you could see in his eyes and you could hear in his voice uh, what it meant and uh, he was he was uh, able to have that presence uh, every time he spoke to the Buckeyes uh, of what it meant to play in the game. Well I mean his physicality really was something that set him apart you know he really defined the whole the Raider image when he was with them and you know he kind of set the tone for what you know we expect out of our defensive backs and really all the players on our team in terms of physicality you know he'd come in for for the biggest games, you know, the, the Michigan games, and uh, if we had a big out-of-conference game, he'd come in for that and speak to the team. And, you know, he's the guy that, you know, everybody in the in the country really respects because he was such a tough guy, such a tough player, and he really, you know, like I said, he could change a whole ball game with one collision. This is how he, this is how he could do it. He was the benchmark. Uh, when you were a safety coming into Ohio State, he was the benchmark that you were aspiring to become. And, at the time, no matter what you did, nothing was ever as good as what Jack Tatum could have done. To see him come in and talk to us, you know, it was a surreal feeling. You know, you're already ready to go. It's Ohio State, Michigan. You got butterflies. You just want to go out there and play and to see a guy like Jack Tatum, a historian, you know, a guy that, that defined defense, defined hard hitting, to define passion of football. It, it just made it that much more special. He's a great football player, uh, one of the most intense ball players I ever saw. Great talent. When he got drafted as a senior, you know, I knew that of all the guys in our team, that Jack Tatum was meant to be an Oakland Raider, and that made him, when they made him a free safety, that somebody would get hurt because of the way he hit. Every place he went, I'll tell you what, he, he set a standard was still uh, yet to be met in many places. Jack was one of my best friends. Um, I miss him dearly. We were both very, very proud to, to play for uh, and go to school at a wonderful institution. He's been really a, a lead person in terms of the game of football, uh, the battle with diabetes. Uh, he was always there for everyone, whether it was in terms of getting ready for a football game or, or raising funds for diabetes or maybe most important, raising awareness. He lived life the way it should be lived. We miss Jack Tatum, there's no question. 